Hello there YouTubers. I've just bought myself a Pioneer F900BT off eBay, advertised with version 3 software and version 2 maps. It actually came with version 1 maps and version 1 software. So I updated to the Pioneer software version 2 firmware on the website. Quite good, made it a bit faster. Still had a few issues with it. So a little bit of trawling of AVIC 411, which I'm sure you guys know about, came up with the um, version 3 firmware and the version 2 maps, possibly a bit naughty. So I've installed those, having a look at how they go. Following the instructions on the site, very, very easy. Had to update WinCE, which is kind of quite scary. And then I'm just watching my stereo because it's doing something now. Mm. So, updated CE, then did the firmware update with the dodgy firmware to version 3, ran fine. Decided I'm going to see what the Pioneer software does. So, been on the Pioneer site, downloaded the new version from there, the latest version that you can get from their site. I think there's a newer one, but it costs about 120 quid. Don't feel like spending that at the moment. So, I'm going to show you what's going on on the uh, head unit at the moment. Okay, so um, I've downloaded the latest update from AVIC 411 for the Pioneer F900BT, which you can see here. There. And as you can see on the screen at the moment, it's doing a Pioneer update. This is the update from the Pioneer website, which wouldn't run on this. This was on firmware 1, and I've downloaded the firmware 3, uh, 3.000300, which is there I guess, Let's see if we can get that in focus a bit more. And we're updating with the proper firmware from the Pioneer site, and hopefully, well I haven't bricked the stereo so far, it's working, and what we'll do is we'll have a look in a moment once this is finished updating, and see how it goes. So there we go. Okay, so the um, the first bit of the update's just gone through. It's been going for about six minutes. Now um, let's have a look. Seems to be doing some copying over from the storage card, putting on the UK maps, I guess. So it's all coming from this little SD card here that I've put in. Um, it's an eight gig card. Seems to work fine. Some people seem to have issues with bigger cards. It's not a particularly big card anyway, and I'm not having any issues. So tough. Okay, the um, update's just finished, and there we go. One working F900BT with the latest firmware on. Let's have a look. Seems kind of responsive. Um, let's see. So I'm guessing what it's done, yeah, lost most of the, the settings that I had, so I'll have to redo a little bit on this, but it's definitely working. And we've got the 2D and the north up, which is kind of important. Great. I'm sitting on the fourth floor of the SA Spider Academy right now with three of their folk, who's the director of marketing and sales. So there you go, working. Well recommended. Ciao for now.